Welcome back to another video here at our shop in Park City. Today's yet another day where we don't have much going on, just working on our cars. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the Ferrari. We need to uninstall the exhaust that came with the Ferrari. So, the exhaust that came with the Ferrari, when we bought it, we had no idea. I knew it wasn't from the factory, but I didn't know what brand it was. After doing some research, found out it's a Tubi style exhaust down in there, but we do have the factory cats and the factory headers, which are cracked. We're gonna be uninstalling that today. So just so you guys know, I'm like a soda drinker and I'm a lemonade guy. So I'm gonna to run to the grocery store, see what I can find, and then we're also running really low on most other grocery supplies. Uh, the grocery stores here in town have been doing a fantastic job keeping up on supplies, so I'm gonna to run to the store real quick. You guys are gonna come with. Uh, do you guys wanna see some serious bad luck? So we haven't driven this in like two days. Yesterday we opened it up and a mouse had somehow crawled in our SRT and chewed up the seat. So now we have to replace the seat, this panel right here, oh my gosh. Guys, have I told you how much I love this car? Listen to this, I'm gonna roll the windows down real quick. All right, we're getting on the freeway here. <laughs> the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT is like, I love it. I, I knew I was gonna like it, but not this much. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. You vlog it? Definitely, definitely need some DiGiorno's. All right, you guys, that was such a good haul. So we got all the groceries we need for probably about a week and a half to two weeks. So that'll keep us from having to leave the shop anymore. But huge shout out to Smith. They're working, they're hustling hard to keep everything in stock. In fact, I got everything I came for besides isopropyl alcohol. You guys know isopropyl alcohol is like a hot item right now. And it's always been a hot item for us because uh, to wrap cars, we need to wipe the panels down with alcohol to clean them off. So that's the one thing I'm on the hunt for. We're good to go. I'm gonna load it up in here. I'll see you guys back at the shop. All right, we are back at the shop. I got my Dr. Pepper here in my mug. Face doing something awkward over there. Uh, but we wanna give a huge shout out to all the hard workers out there that are still going into work every day. Like everyone at the grocery store was hustling so hard, wiping everything down, making sure everything was perfect, making sure everything was like lined up on the shelves. It was incredible, it was awesome. So the first things first, we need to get the Ferrari up in the air. We need to get the under tray off the bottom. We also need to get Faith out of the engine bay. <laughs> What do you think, Sal? Are you just so happy that we're home all day long so you get so much attention? What is that, Sal? What's going on? What is that? What are you doing? What are you doing under there? <laughs> you itching your back? Are you taking cover? What are you doing? Careful. Nice job. It's like I've done this before. You got one more wheel. <sighs> All right, we've got both wheels off. We've got the diffuser off and the undercarriage way back there. All that's left is the wheel wells and Clayton is saying that those are gonna be super annoying. Well, they're not crazy annoying, they're just pretty regular annoying. Regular annoying. So that actually looks pretty easy. It's because I've done it three times. Ah. That part. Oh. I've done taking the under tray, the wheel wells, and that bumper part, the diffuser off. But now we're to the point where I have no idea what we're doing. So uh -oh. my game plan though, is we're gonna start at the tips and work our way to the block. All right. So we'll take the 2B exhaust off, then we'll take the catalytic converters off and then the headers. But you guys, check this out. So you have a great view of what's going on right here. So we have the 2B exhaust right there, the tips are down in there, goes right through, that's the catalytic converter right there. Then the cat goes through and then those are the headers. So if you go through the wheel well here, you can easily see those headers right there and then all of the header bolts underneath. Oh, you can barely see them. Okay, yeah, so these are the headers, O2 sensors, the catalytic converters are behind the suspension here, and then the tips go right there. So it doesn't seem like a lot, but from what I've heard, the header bolts will literally take like the longest part of this whole thing. So I figured Faith and I will work on uh, getting the tubey exhaust off. You can do it. That guy has faith in me. Unimpressed. Me. More playtime. 
Let's work. <laughs> so Clayton is a sentimental guy and he uh I'm gonna miss this exhaust. He, he thinks he's gonna miss this exhaust, so he wants to do one last startup. So guys, the next time you hear that start up, I'm guessing it'll be like five or six times louder, ear mm, piercing. Gonna shake the whole building. Okay, what do you want me to do first, boss? I'm finding the tools for you. I need a smaller one than this. Smaller one than this. <laughs> smaller than 18, 18. millimeter sockets. Here's a 14. 15. Oh, it's 15. It's 15. Nice. Nice. Mechanic Faith, what bolt are we doing? Oh, okay. Ooh, she's rusty. Ooh. Wow. But, oof. Nice. Chocolate. Next side, this side. There isn't one. <laughs> oh, there's no bolt on this side. Yeah. Well, that was easy. That was the easiest bolt of the whole thing. There was That none. is uh, not a good feeling. <laughs> what else is missing? Yeah. What Clayton told me is this is the exhaust hanger, so we're gonna get this off next. Oh, 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 oh. All right, well, good job. Oh, Here goodness. is the exhaust hanger. Got more exhaust hangers, I think. Right? Yep. These? Okay. Being short is a very big disadvantage right now. All right, so we have reached the point of disassembling this exhaust where we're kind of just guessing at this point. So for those of you that have done this before, please be patient with us. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. We, uh, we're trying to get this off of this, so we decided to unscrew that for some reason, and then, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Not proud of how we got it off, but we got it off. <laughs> so we learned that we need to get the exhaust off of the catalytic converter before we take the catalytic converter off of the headers. That's what we learned. You guys can see right here, it's Ferrari branded Tubi exhaust. So there's mm. Tubi style right there. Here's like the serial number and all that. So we're actually gonna be selling this exhaust system for anybody out there that wants a teeny, teeny bit louder than stock. Step one on this side that we didn't do on this side is we had to remove this uh, sleeve here. Is that what you call it? Sure. Uh -huh. That way we can separate the catalytic converters from the exhaust right here. This is the, this is the tricky part. All right. That side went a lot easier. Much better. Now that we've learned, learned our lesson. Look how smart we are now. Okay. We're so smart now. I wouldn't put it that way. All right, now that we're feeling a little bit more confident, we'll film some more. <laughs> Ooh, very, very uh, OEM looking. This looks like a, uh, <laughs> that guy from Star Wars. The tin, the gold tin robot Oh, guy. C-3PO. Yes. Yes? <laughs> Can you agree? <laughs> oh no. Now all the Star Wars fans are gonna come at me. <laughs> so, all the bolts to the headers are 12 millimeter bolts. So I'm just gonna gather every single 12 millimeter anything that I have, and throw it underneath the car, and I'll use a combination of all of them in order to make this work. You know what you need? You need one of those stool things that you line your back and you just roll out. A crawl thing. And a tool belt. Nice. That the O2 sensor? Yeah. Nice. And then we got one other sensor right here I gotta ah. get to go. And that's it for the header, right? And then I just gotta finish taking off the last bolt. And that was a good 30 minutes or so? Yeah, it was about 30 minutes. <laughs> just for the one header. There they go. Hopefully that's the cracked one. They're both trash. Whoa. Yeah, so these are the stock headers. You guys, and they are prone to cracking. One of them's cracked, I believe it's the other side, but. How do you know, it? like, does it show an actual crack? Sometimes it does. I just remember the noise from that other side. Mm. 
Um, but Looks usually pretty worn. people trash these anyways because they're just garbage. Yeah. So, they're um, faulty. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna resell this. <laughs> Get it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He's like, this header is crap. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh. That took you what? Half 10 minutes. Time. Yeah. That literally took you 10 minutes. Okay. Let's see if there's any cracks. The ticking was super loud. Super loud. So we've got the old exhaust. Now we've got the new exhaust. Ooh. Those look so good compared mm. to the old ones. Well, obviously. Look at how fresh and those actually, are. Comparing, like holding those ones and then holding these, these are way lighter. Really? Yeah. Those are pretty hefty. Oh, you're so right. Yeah. I feel bad now about seeing how heavy these were. They're way lighter. Holy crap. They're so much lighter. Yeah. Wow. I feel like an idiot. So we'll have significantly more flow and less weight. You know what that means? Faster. More power, baby. More power. More power, baby. Wait, what? Gundam style? <laughs> no, I was riding a horse. Oh, more horsies. Now you guys can see how empty it is in here. There's, wow, that's a lot of room. Holy yeah. crap. This engine bay, oh, you guys can see me, hi. This engine bay is quite roomy. It it's is. It's actually very nice. I thought that'd be cool to see. You can see like so, yeah, look, at, look at how much floor. room. Look at, you could fit in here, Faith. <laughs> Wait. Can Faith be the exhaust? <laughs> Ready, cold start. <laughs> Look at this exhaust, guys. How was that? Uh, how that, was being in? How was being in exhaust? Uh, embarrassing, but that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty crazy that I could do that. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for uh, hanging on this long. Sorry to disappoint you, but we are not <laughs> installing the Fab Speed exhaust today. I think that was enough work for today. Yeah, I need. Yeah. I need a little bit of a break. My knuckles need to heal up. I need to shower. I need to eat. Yeah, wow. we got a hungry. I'm so glad I got those DiGiorno's. We got a hungry Clayton in the house, and I know you guys do not want to see that. Okay, well, you did all the work, but I am still exhausted. So well, you, uh, did, you got me a lot of tools. You took off the uh, the tubey exhaust. I did, so I did moral support. Yeah, yeah. that's a big job, but I yeah, I think that's gonna end today's video. We want to pump out more content now that uh, everyone's staying home. So. <sighs> Bear with us, this is the end of the video. We'll be installing the exhaust in the next video. So stay tuned, make sure you guys click subscribe and like the video. If you click subscribe and that little bell, you'll be notified when we upload the next video. That way, when we do, you'll be able to watch it first and then get to see it first and- It helps yeah. us out. Yeah. We really appreciate it. But we can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace.